Thanks. You know, I, I'm going to give Lou credit. He said something to me before we started talking. You know, some people are calling the, the Luna overall debacle a Ponzi scheme. And he said something that I thought was actually really insightful, which is, it's not a Ponzi scheme. It's not a Ponzi scheme because he did exactly what he said he was going to do. A Ponzi scheme is when you're lying about what you're doing, and you're running a pyramid scheme, you know, the, but you're lying. The, the whole UST Luna experience, he published a white paper and said, here's what I'm going to do, and then he went and did it. So look, I, my general view of what happened in the last couple weeks, clearly uh, we've been through some market resets over time. I view it as probably net good for the industry in the long haul, but certainly painful in the short. Hey guys, it's Digitech Lifestyle here. Right, I uh, just wanted to play you that video because like, what Brad said was quite true. Um, Doc Juan did not set out to, or uh, Luna was not a Ponzi scheme, or is not a Ponzi scheme. They said what they were going to do, and they did it. This is the point Brad was trying to make. Now, n the unfortunate thing was that it was pegged to Tether, no, US, yes, UST Tether. And that being an algorithmic stable coin, had flaws when the market crashed. So why did I play that video? Why did I do that? It's because to prove a point that with the new blockchain that they're gonna bring out, I mean, if you look at this news here from Bloomberg UK, uh, it says Luna token relaunch kicks crypto hype machine back into gear. New Luna tokens will be given to previous USD Luna holders. And Luna 2.0 is already trendy on social media despite the controversy okay now they recognize something if you need a reminder members of sure well uh, of, of world of crypto look no further than relaunch of luna token and the and their that the, <laughs> and that they played a role in the collapse of terra blockchain ecosystem that cost investors billions a little more than two weeks ago okay Hype is already building around the cryptocurrency, which is being issued reissued as part of the proposed approved, uh, approval on Wednesday. I would say the plan seeks to salvage the network after Luna's affiliated stablecoin Terra USD USD T USD lost its one-to-one -one peg of the dollar and helped trigger a collapse in the digital asset prices. All right, we all know that. Okay, that happened two weeks ago under the new new approved measure the digital uh, blockchain will split off and the blockchain terra classic will known as terra luna will become terra classic while luna which plunged close to zero last month will be renamed luna classic that's what i meant luna classic okay the ticker symbol unc and uh, lunc the new terra blockchain will be starting running a coin under the existing luna name the ticker won't include ust stable coin which is a good thing because we all know that actually made the whole thing collapse in the first place the new uh, luna will be distributed previous holders of the new, new well luna usd and a so-called airdrop on thursday well we all know why they call it a so-called as if they didn't know what an airdrop was <sighs> crypto exchanges are already announcing plans to take to list this token with advocates are uh, advocates are predicting it will surge and i agree with them because it's new, uh, this, that's the reason why I wanted to bring that to you. Because it, one, it's going to be new, two, um, they're relaunching it. And if it, it succeeded in the first place, it doesn't say it's not going to succeed again. I'm not saying this is financial advice, uh, um, but again, is it worth $10 to find out that you could have had something that could make you a few thousand dollars later on down the line? And you could be in a much better position than most. Wouldn't that be helpful in, in the long run? That's the way I look at it. I look at it like this. That could well do so many things going forward. There's so much hype around it. There's so much going on in the ecosystem. The social trends are happening. Brad Garling House and what he actually said about that particular crypto. And then what they actually said, they weren't setting out to be a Ponzi scheme. That was not their intention. A bit more news on that as well on the terror uh, blockchain and who's actually going to be um, listing that token uh, as i said i was going to go and find a list of uh, companies that are 
actually doing this and uh, there's quite a few of them um, psh, when it goes to when it gets working when it hasn't stopped uh, I do sometimes wish I had a faster PC or computer now but still you know what it's what it is I have to work with it work with what I got yeah so hopefully this will stop soon and here we go right KuCoin is one of them I'm gonna get down the list uh, come on uh, by a bit, I just saw it, it's disappeared. All right, okay, by a bit. Go coin, go down. One there, I think, that might be a bit true, I'm not sure. It's disappeared. I'm sure it'll come back at some point. I don't know why this browser is so slow. Let's see if we can refresh. Think it's going to go. Just disappeared on me. But there's quite a thread here, right? So you can go onto Twitter, Twitter, Terra Money, underscore dot money, underscore money, sorry, and you're going to find an awful lot of information there. All right. So what I was trying to say to you as well is, um, or what I need to say to you as well, if you are going to get involved in this, you, you're going to need to hold it on the Terra wallet, uh, the Terra station wallet itself. Don't um, hold it on exchanges because some of the exchanges may or some of the other exchanges may not um, on the airdrop. A lot of people are opting to uh, stick it on the, um, the, the Terra station itself, and that way they're secured, but they're, they're going to get their airdrops. But even if you don't do that, you can still get your airdrop through KuCoin and all the other support you have there, because it's come up. Um, the other um, exchanges, FTX is another one that's doing it. Uh, I do wish to wish to catch up. Uh, gate um, IO um, the Luna wallet itself will have it on there. No, um, for me that's the safest bet. Um, that's where I'm going to put it on their wallet. Well, that's I already have it on their wallet. And I said the other day as well. I've got some on my um, ledger as well, which is connected to the Terra Luna wallet. So hopefully I will get airdrops on both of those wallets. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this because it's coming out on the 27th. Um, it's going to be worth it, I think, in, 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 in some way to get a little bit. Um, this is not financial advice again. Like I will say this over and over and over again. Not financial advice. You choose to do what you want to do with your money. Uh, I said before, past does not represent the future. The fact that it went to $115 doesn't mean to say it can't go somewhere near close, even if it went to $7 or $8. Um, I do know you could get about 30,000 uh, coins for a teller. So if it went to a dollar within, say, six months, or who knows when the airdrop comes out, what, what the airdrop's actually going to have, is it going to have a one-to-one -one pain is it going to be the dollar when it comes out with the new day drop so you've got to think about that you know and all that kind of stuff it's, it's a minefield crypto is, is ooh, changing fast and it's hard sometimes to keep up but i will say this guys don't get scammed stay regulated uh, we're not sure about what's going to happen with terra luna going forward i'm not sure what's going to happen and um, I also will say this, it's a gamble. Everything in this world is a gamble at the moment. You know, it's a gamble when you're going to eat tomorrow and some of those who are just drop for cash and that. And I get it. But think about the future. Think about what this could mean, not just with Terra Luna. You know, there are other tokens out there like XRP, XDC, XLM, which are changing the financial markets. I will change the financial markets and I will be doing a video on those. At some point, especially um, the ones, the ISO 220, the 2022 tokens, I've mentioned them before, but I don't think people get the grasp of that and what that actually means for a society going forward, especially after Davos and the bad guarding house was at Davos and what he is actually doing there. You know, only the rich and, you know, people like that 
you know, make changes going forward in the world, go to those places. It's not people like you, you. We don't, you know what I mean? Those people make changes going forward, whether they be good or bad, you know, but at the end of the day, you need to make a decision for yourself. You can't rely on those people, but, but know that they're doing something. So if, whatever they're doing, if it's, it depends on how many cryptocurrency exchanges that they're involved in and how many um, people or businesses that they're talk, spoken to, I saw Casper mentioned, uh, I know Ripple, XLM, I've been um, at Davos, so um, I know for a fact I um, saw Kev Brogani, I speak to Christine the God, we said he did, so does that mean Ripple's going to get a foot forward? Can you utilise the Luna token to get more of a, a, a of, of, of Ripple? No, you can make a decision for, this, for yourself. Uh, uh, yeah, so that be true. You have to make that decision. Nobody else can do that. Um, I, 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 I hit, bit, I hitch, hit BTC um, doing it as well for those who are looking for ways to buy it. Yeah, so if you're looking, if you can uh, do it, do it smartly, do it wisely. But just remember, this is not financial advice. Okay. Over and out. Take care, guys. All these, all of these, all of these. Anyway, I'm out.